My name is Naima and welcome back to my channel. Today we are filming a book haul. This is kind of like an end of summer book haul because I'm going back to school on Saturday. It's currently Thursday when I'm filming this and you guys, I kid you not, this is the third time that I have filmed this video and hopefully third time's actually a charm because I'm honestly tired of it. Um, yeah, I just can't really get back into the groove of filming everything I film. I hate, I look crazy, I'm too close to the camera, it's too much, it's too this. But I think hopefully I got it right this time. It's getting a bit darker so I have my ring light on and when I have the ring light on you can see everything. And my makeup isn't the best right now. Anyways, I need to stop complaining. This is going to be an end of summer book haul. Books that I got from Polycon, books that I got just randomly um, from different stores, from Amazon, books that were sent to me. Yeah, that's what this video is today. It's definitely a smaller book haul than what I usually um, show because I usually wait until I have tons and tons of books. But because I'm going to school on Saturday, I can't bring every book in my collection. So I thought I'd film this video before I head out, before I leave for my apartment, which I'm so excited about. I'm gonna plan on doing like a reading vlog and showing you guys like me setting up everything and moving in um my new bookshelf for over there it's actually an old bookshelf that i'm stealing from my mom's room yeah and then i'll probably also film a video of books that i am taking with me to school also if you guys are not following me on instagram go ahead and do that the link is in my description box and it is naima's reads i am planning on doing a really big giveaway pretty shortly once i get like all the parts together but i'm so excited for this giveaway and i want you guys to be a part of it so make sure you are following me on there so you can stay up to date with everything going on in my life and all the giveaway stuff so yeah without further ado let's get right into today's video okay so i'm gonna first start off with all the books that i bought myself and a book that was sent to me and then the rest are a polycon so the majority of these books i've got from a polycon that were either gifted to me in my goodie bags i went at events and stuff like that so yeah let's start off with things that i bought throughout the summer in the very beginning of the summer you probably already seen these two in videos but i thought i'd show it again because i never officially hold them got the confidence of wildflowers by mccullis smeltzer i actually met her at a polycon and she was so sweet and so kind she had the best swag at her table yeah she ended up signing it for me and yeah i'm very excited to read this book i have yet to read it yet all i know is that is an age gap and what else she's 18 he's 31 i'm reading the little thing and I think they're next door neighbors, possibly. She could potentially be a nanny. I'm very excited for this. And then during that same trip to Barnes & Noble, I got Pestilence by Laura Thalassa. And I was really just in the mood for something different in the beginning of the summer. Like, I was so over, like, romance in general. So I wanted to pick up kind of like a fantasy romance, just a little spin on things. And I ended up getting Pestilence. And I had heard so many things about this for years. Since I joined the community in 2020, I have heard just so many people talking about pestilence in the four horsemen series so i decided to pick it up i actually did read it a few weeks ago and i loved it um i annotated it you probably can't see with the ring light but yeah i really enjoyed this i think it end i ended up giving it four stars and i'm so excited to read the next three books in the series i thought this was really good and a lot darker than i thought like pestilence was kind of wild <laughs> was kind of wilding for for a second there but um yeah i really enjoyed this book and i also met laura thalassa at a polycon and she signed it for me so um yeah she was really sweet as well and that made it all the better when i read her book and because i was like she is a sweet person now i have to read her book and love it and I did. And then when I was in New Orleans, I went to Walmart to like buy a few things for the house and I saw All Your Perfects there by Colleen Hoover and I decided to pick this up because I've been trying to find this for the longest time. Like for a while there, I they just disappeared from stores. Like I could not find All Your Perfects. And I think it's because they redid the covers. This is the one Colleen Hooper that I really wanted to read anxiously because um, it's a marriage in crisis and I love marriage in crisis. Says in romance books not in real life that's really sad in, in real life um but yeah i saw this and i picked it up i actually read it a few days ago and again you won't be able to see the annotations or maybe you can but this is so heavily annotated like i love this book it felt like i cried every single chapter again it's a marriage in crisis with some pretty heavy triggers so look into them um off the top of my head infertility issues and miscarriages so 
um, yeah, it was tough, but I really really enjoyed it And then Valentine PR sent me always mine by Laura Pavlov at a polycon I met Nina Nina recommended Laura Pavlov to me because she knows that I love small town romance and she was like you need to read Laura Pavlov so they sent me over always mine and i am so excited about this because again it is small town it is friends to lovers and it is a firefighter hero which is just really what i am in the mood for so um yeah i'm very 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 excited about this book and i actually did read another lore pavla before they sent this to me and it was called braid which i'm planning on talking about in my wrap up and then also um in a recommendation video coming very shortly so yeah, thank you, Valentine PR. Next up, all of the books that I got at a Polycon. Again, some of them I bought at like the individual um, authors signing tables and then some of them were free inside like the goodie bags. And then also at different events, I won a few books from like raffles and stuff like that. So let's get into all of the books that I got at a Polycon. Okay, so in my a Polygon is the name of the ticket that me and Ravian got. Um, you each get, for the three types of tickets, um, Titan, Apollyon, and Deity, or Deity, I can't really, I don't know how it's pronounced. You get a goodie bag, and in there you get, number one, the most recent J JLA book, and this was A Shadow and the Ember, and this is a part of the Blood and Ash series, I believe, or actually a flesh and fire novel, so it's like the kind of like parallel universe series that's like intermingled. Um, I gave up on that series from the From Blood and Ash series. I read the first one and loved it. I read the second book, didn't love it as much, and then I just completely stopped. So this book is making me think otherwise, and all the um, different people that we met at a Polycon um, were telling me to give this series a chance. I've heard that it's way better than the original, like, A Blood and Ash series, so yeah. Um, I was really excited to get this because it is gorgeous in the sprayed edges, and so I thought that was really cool. So everybody got this book, and then not in that book, in my initial, like, goodie bag, I got The Summer of Christmas by Juliet Gigolo and Keith Gigolo. And this is giving um, to Love Jason Thorne. I actually looked up the reviews when I got this and they are not the best, but it is about this girl who um, is a writer, she writes screenplays, and her movie is being filmed at in her hometown and the person who's playing like the hero or the lead is her ex-boyfriend. So it's giving to Love Jason Thorne. I'm excited. I think it should be cute. Um, the cover, if anything else, is stunning. So. Yeah, I was really excited to get that one. And then I can't remember if this was in the tote bag. I think it was Summer Love by Jay Lum. And it is a little novella, very short. I've never actually heard of this author before. And I have no idea what this book is about. But it does look cute. So um, maybe we'll give this one a shot. And then on Friday night, we went to this Source Books event. And when you walk in, there's a table with um, three different books. And you got to choose which book you wanted. And I instantly picked up... A Most Unusual Duke by Susanna Allen and I picked this up because I thought that that creature right there I don't know if you can see him I thought that he was a werewolf <laughs> it wasn't until I sat down at the table and the girls we were sitting with were like uh, that's actually a bear and that's a bear shifter romance and it's historical so I love werewolf romances you guys know this about me werewolf romances sign me up I've never actually read about a different type of shifter like a bear or a lizard like i i know there's a bunch of different types um so i was kind of disappointed when i realized what it was but i was like you know what? it was a free book um but it does have its card stacked against it because it's also historical which i do like historical i just don't read much of so yeah i am excited to read this though i think i will give it a shot because i'm curious but the thing is bears it's like well what's attractive about a wolf like why isn't a bear as attractive as a wolf and you know what you know why stop judging me wolves are more attractive than bears i'm sorry i got this one for free thank you the source books event was really fun and then towards the end of the night we got another book from source books from the source books event and that was actually an arc of wicked beauty by katie robert and um i'm pretty sure this had already come out um, a few days or weeks before a polycon a few weeks before a polycon. We were really excited to receive this I personally have not been a Katie Robert fan, but I think I would like her now um, If you've been following me from the very beginning, I read desperate measures and then lessons the second one I forgot what that's called and back then I wasn't really into like novellas and like just books all about smut 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 
but now I am. I really like Just a Cane now, and I really like just like really smutty books. Not that I didn't back then, I just wanted more plot, you know? Um, so I think I'm gonna give Katie Robert another chance and actually read the entire series. So we got Wicked Beauty, which is really cool. And then during an event, I per it was the A Thousand and One Night Sparkler event. In my goodie bag, there was Bulletproof by Avery Flynn. Yeah, I have no idea what this book is about. I think this, um, Liliana Hart is another author and she wrote this whole series called The Mackenzie Family. And then she asked some of her like author friends and different people that she liked to write little short novellas in that world. So Avery Flynn wrote a little novella for like the world. So yeah, I actually have no idea what it's about. It's pretty short, a really short novella. So I'm excited about this one. And then at the, during the end of the covers podcast event, I ended up winning A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime, the last chapter book shop. Um, edition and I think it is so gorgeous like I'm obsessed with this alternate cover yeah that was a really fun event as well um, got to meet some really nice and cool people and there was tons of raffles and free stuff that people were winning tons of bookmarks and different cute swag on authors tables bookshop tables so yeah this is really cute I was so excited to win this because I really enjoyed this book when I read it and this edition is gorgeous then my friend Valentine gave me blood laws by Lexi C Foss this was actually Actually in her goodie bag because she was in had the Titan ticket I believe she was like I don't really want this so she gave it to me and I was so excited because my friend Heather from Hia Booktubes loves Lexi C. Foss I've been meaning to read her for a while now so yeah this is Blood Laws I have no idea what it's about it could be like an urban fantasy it could be I'm getting like paranormal romance though it says welcome to a mortal curse world where angels and vampires are refined seraphim rain i don't know <laughs> but um, i'm very excited for this next are the books that i actually bought at authors tables first i got not first this odd order but i got a chance for us by corinne michaels i was actually hanging out with corinne michaels the, the night before the signing and she was so sweet and just so funny and i really liked her vibe and energy so i was like you know what tomorrow i'm coming to your table and i'm gonna get a book from you and i also had a book from her to get signed but i had never read um a corinne michaels before and she was talking about about how she just like didn't how she always sobs while writing her books and I was like I'm buying from you I am buying from you so yeah I got a chance for us this is a marriage of convenience I believe and it looks really good and she signed it which is really sweet and then I got the rivalry by Nikki Salone Nikki Salone was the same boat I hung out with her Thursday night and then Saturday night and so after Friday I was like oh my gosh I love her I love her energy and I need to go support her so I bought The Rivalry by Nikki Sloan, obviously. She was just so sweet and I really liked her as well. So I was like, I need to support her and I got The Rivalry. All I know about this is that it is a sports romance and the cover is gorgeous. <laughs> so that is why I purchased it. And then my friend Giselle told us that she was working at EJ Mello's table and that we needed to come and say hey to her during the signing. And so we did and I ended up purchasing The Animal Under the Fur. And all I know about this is that it gives Mr. and Mrs. Smith vibes and honestly they convinced me with just that. J. Mello was really sweet. I was excited to buy this book. The cover is so cute and yeah it seems right up my alley so I'm very excited to read this. And then we met Coralie June. Reagan had a book to get signed by her. I didn't but I just we were going everywhere together so I went with her to go get her book signed and I was picking up books on her table and I saw a lovely obsession and it's a duet and I I just read the first the first little line of the blurb and it says my guardian angel is a devil in sky in disguise he hates me he protects me he watches me my stalker is obsessed with keeping me safe and i was like oh exact oh i'm buying your book now and so i did she was really sweet as well and yeah i'm very excited to read this all i know is that it is a stalker romance and it should be really good and then me and reagan were kind of like waiting for some of our ticketed authors to get to our number we're kind of like around Coralie june's table there was like a little section um where we were sitting and she stops us and she's like hey what book did you buy like a while ago it was probably ours at that point and i was like oh um the duet and she was like, here, take this. And so she gave Reagan and I both Twisted Legacy. And she was like, I'm not bringing these on the plane with me. Have this. And I was literally staring at her like, 
are you serious right now? Like you're just giving me your book and she was so kind signed it She had it signed already. I guess this one was like pre-signed and yeah, i'm very excited about this I don't know anything about this one, but I think but I believe it's forbidden So i'm very excited and this cover is gorgeous so yeah i was really grateful that she stopped us and gave us a book and then finally we met lord thalassa during the source books event and then during the signing we really wanted to get our book signed so i ended up purchasing war and this is the second book in her four horsemen series at this point i hadn't read pestilence yet but i was like i'm gonna love it so let me just go ahead and get the second book and this is the second horseman war and i am very excited about it naima for your soft heart i am so excited I really loved Pestilence, so hopefully this one is as amazing, or if not better. I do hear that the series gets better as you go along, so hopefully I really enjoy it. Okay, so the camera is inverted, sorry, but I'm editing this video right now, and I realized I forgot to show you guys a book, which um, this is one of the books that I'm most excited for, so I don't know how I missed this, but I also got five rounds by Nikki Castle. I got this at the End of the Covers podcast event, and I was so excited because we met this girl there and she showed us that she got five rounds and she showed us what Nikki Castle signed in it and so I had her sign it for me too. Naima, you look so fucking pretty when you beg. Tristan. I screamed and I had to get it so uh this is another book I got and all I know about this is that he's an MMA fighter and he likes her on her knees like i that's all i know but yes i got this and i'm very excited so that was the last book that i am hauling today hopefully i'm planning on doing like hauls more periodically um because i don't see my book buying slowing down at any point so i'll probably do like another fall one and then maybe a winter one and spring and summer so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to leave a big like and a comment down below and also subscribe so you never miss another upload from me and also do not forget to go and follow me on instagram so you can so you can know all the info about the giveaway. I should be posting about it pretty soon. I'm really excited to give back to you guys. So that should be really exciting. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you and I will see you very shortly with a new video. Bye. If I got one thing right, it was you.